How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. I haven't uploaded in three weeks and it's obviously not been good. I've been out of the country for one of those weeks and the other two weeks I've just been doing other things really. But today's video we are going to be taking a look at our predictions and the whole review of the KSI Logan Paul event. It's going to be the last video on that for a while. Then I'm just going to focus on my stuff, obviously. One of the first fights which was a late addition was Jeremy Drizzy versus Call Me Ham. This was a slugfest. Every time Jeremy wanted to do something, Ham was just like, no, I counted him. And it was just easy for Ham. And there was obviously a clear winner. It was Call Me Ham. And there's not really much to say on this fight, but it was it was a slugfest. Second fight, Momo versus Rossi. This one was annoying because Momo kept doing dances from Fortnite and it was just so frustrating to watch. But he took the risk and it paid off because he won on a points decision. So no knockout and honestly if he got knocked out he would have looked like an absolute mug. I believe I said uh, Rossi. Uh, there were rumours about him having training done beforehand. But no, Momo was uh, the winner. And uh, well done to you, Momo. If you lost while doing those dances, it wouldn't have been great. Would not have been good at all. Next fight, JMX versus Coach Richard. This one was my first fight prediction, which was correct. JMX is just too tall. He's got the range and he is a pretty big bloke, so he's got strength as well. Knocked Coach Richard down twice for the count and just dominated throughout. And it was just an easy victory for JMX. I would like to see Coach Richard again because it was very interesting to see a, four, a GB 400 meter runner take part in this but JMX was dominant throughout. The Dal Riley's team is one out of three wins so far. Next fight which I thought was going to be a whole lot better than it actually was. Faye Sensei versus Overflow. Overflow near the end of the last round ended up being really weird when he literally took he took Sensei down and you can see in the fight Sensei leans over the ropes to the commentators Jordi, Joella and uh, Lawrence and says liver shots, body shots. Straight away he just looks like he's having none of it and he's just gone for the liver. Knocked him down twice one on the points and face sensei is the winner so that's two correct so far raka raka versus scarce this one was quite funny scarce fought this fight with a uh, broken bone in his hand or something like that i don't know what it was fair play to you he's lost a lot of weight in a short amount of time and i i'm pretty happy to see him doing so well Honestly, Raka Raka just came out too strong and Scarce will be better over time. If he does do it again, I believe he can do well. I believe he can win. The same goes with any of them really, but Raka Raka just came out too strong. And uh, I think that is three predictions correct. I'm already doing well. And Isong Gibb versus Jay Swingler. And Isong Gibb has won and that's another prediction correct. And Isong Gibb just sort of... He does have that fighting style where he just sort of comes at you, he runs at you and just starts swinging for the fences. He's knocked Jay out of the ring a couple times as well, it's like watching Jake Paul sparring footage over again. They both done well, Gibb just came out on top, he done a lot better. And at the end of it, and he's when Gibb calls out Joe Weller, and that's going to be an interesting fight. I hope, I want to see it, and it's going to be good. Right, this fight. I had my heart in my sleeve. Jake Paul versus Deji. Deji fought his absolute heart out. And I really, really wanted him to win. That first round where he came out strong, came out quick, came out quite, you know, good against Jake Paul's length, his reach and all that. And it was just, it was so good to see. He made him bleed. It was ridiculous. And as the fight slowly got on, you could see Jake Paul slowly wearing away at his body and his cardio just gradually getting worse. Jake Paul was just the fitter fighter on the day, but I think if, if Deji was fit, I believe he would have won it. He he may have lost the fight, but he won the crowd. He won he won the people. He's the people's champion. You didn't let anyone down, Dej. You done well. 
Shame about having to throw in the towel, but it was what's best, and uh, I believe he will come back fighting stronger. Final fight, and the big one, uh, KSI versus Logan Paul. I believe KSI won 4-2. to two. Uh, It was a good fight, it was very back and forth. Logan Paul had the first two rounds, I believe he came out quite strong with the jab. Came out with a few taunts himself and whatnot, and uh, JJ quickly caught on to how he was fighting and then it slowly began to get his way into the fight. I believe towards the end, Logan Paul would gas himself out. He, he threw too many punches and KSI nearly knocked him down. And if uh, there was a few more rounds, I reckon KSI could have knocked him down and got him an on the floor count, not just a standing count. It would have been a good fight if it went on for even longer, but it was still enjoyable to watch. I believe it was worth every penny. I, I did buy the pay-per-view. I did enjoy it and I will enjoy the next one. I can't wait for the next one and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good event. I can't wait for it. And I think KSI did win, but a draw is a fair result as it was very back and forth. Yeah, so I got I got four predictions. I think that is okay. It just goes to show you never know what's gonna happen. You never know who's gonna come swinging up fences and gas themselves out, or who's gonna strategically work their way forward, or who's gonna slowly edge in and then come on top. But it was, a fun, it was a fun event to watch, and uh, I look forward to the next one. I look forward to uploading again. I'm going to try and just do some general videos, to be honest. If you want to see games, which I'm going to be doing a lot, make sure to subscribe to my second channel down below. And uh, yeah, my name is Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.